We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest, Hungary, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Guillermo Alacón, who is the Global Director of the Government Broadband Initiatives for Alcatel Lucent International. Mr. Alacón, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. Now, the theme here at ITU Telecom World 2015 is accelerating innovation for social impact. I wanted to ask you, how have you seen ICT innovation directly impacting on socioeconomic development in people's lives? Well, in, in many ways, uh, even with the uh, 2G technology, uh, previous technologies, it comes to my mind the early warning against, um, you know, um, floods or earthquakes in Chile, or recently we have been working in preparation for Ecuador, they have a volcano, and this is um, a broadcasting alarms to anyone in the, in, in the place, even if they are roaming or they, have, uh, they are just passing by. Uh, and it's saving lives, effectively, uh, and with the climate change and all these problems that we have nowadays, uh, natural disasters, it is one of the things that saves lives immediately. The other thing is on health, uh, that comes to my mind. Uh, for instance, we have been working in Senegal and now in Mexico, where we have problems with obesity and uh, diabetes, and it's um, there is a lack of... Uh, physicians in these places, and it is very important to see how um, simple SMSs with the support of uh, WHO, for instance, and, and, and the Ministry of Health, in the, this, uh, they can help the, the people to have better lives, even though the, there are limitations in the, in the health uh, budget, in the reaching of health services. So this is, this is very tangible, this is giving concrete results. Uh, we are very proud to be part of these initiatives and uh, we see that as technology moves, so, moves uh, forward we see a lot of new opportunities going out to, uh, to impact people's lives, yes. And what concrete measures can government and industry take to encourage entrepreneurship and SMEs in the ICT sector and what's Alcatel Lucent doing in this regard? I think that we all in the industry have a big responsibility and lots of things to do in that regard. Uh, it is for me it's incredible that the uh, small medium enterprises uh, are embracing first social media than some telecommunication services, for instance. And some telecommunication services have been there for long. But the problem is that we make things still today, if not, that's my opinion, complex. We have a reputation of being complicated things and sometimes expensive. So that people walk away, but it's, it's easier to just sign in into a social media and start doing, you know, Twitter or, or other things. And they are embracing that fast, not because other reasons, because it is cheaper and, and, and simpler. And I think that the main um, goal as an industry that we, we have now is to make it cheaper, to make it simpler, to make it more friendly for the people to come in and use the services, which many are there for years and they are not using it. So um, I think that that's one, one big thing that we need to do. In that respect, uh, we are in Alcatel Lucent working to make it simpler uh, through the use of cloud services in the, in, in the telecommunication services. Uh, today is still complex. Uh, I, um, you need to know the country codes, the dial-in uh, exit codes, and the numbering plan. And uh, also, I, I found many people even in my industry that, that says, I don't know how to dial, okay? So uh, it's been there. It's been around for a hundred years or more, uh, and then on the IP, we need to understand things like which is the IP gateway, which is the DNS servers. You have to configure the the, the IP address, and then people just don't doesn't understand it. However, if you travel around the world and you just put there, uh, let me Google.com, you know what is going to happen. You go to Google.com. So that's what virtualization and NFV, SDN, all these acronyms that we love, in our, uh, uh, which basically just to delocalize, make it simpler, make it uh, like creating a digital concierge that will take care of you uh, and, and that will guide you through the jungle of networks and gateways, which is going to get even more complicated because, complicated because you, there are concerns on security and privacy. So this is not going to be easier, technically speaking. What we, we need to make it easier for the people to use it. Uh, and that, I, I think that's one of the things that we are doing 
Last but not least, we are also working on making it better because we see a lot of comparisons and, and, and benchmarkings on what is the price of a gigabyte, what is the price of the fixed, world, uh, fixed uh, mobile uh, broadband, uh, etc. On terms of uh, that are, seems equal, like uh, dollars per megabit per second, dollars per gigabyte, but the quality is very important because it's like electricity or water. If you have water of bad quality or you have water twice a week, uh, it's not the same as having running water with good quality and good pressure and, uh, and available all the time. The same with electricity. Uh, you don't want to connect your things into an electric grid that is not very well uh, balanced. And, and it, it, it. So in telecommunications, we need to put more attention on the quality of the services and start generalizing too much because we say, oh, this is the price of the gigabyte. What, which kind of gigabyte? Uh, so. I think that we have started with quality of service, quality of experience, but I think that we need to have like availability, quality of, of, of availability, quality of trust, if, they, if this is trusted or not, if, uh, and, and, and there's a lot of, of opportunities to make it better. And fiscal policies, should they play a key role in this? Oh yes, I think uh, um, this is too big, the, the, the challenge to connect the unconnected, the challenge to make it better, uh, to make it more affordable, etc. It's, it's a, it's a huge challenge, and um, we need to partner everybody, uh, we vendors, but certainly operators and, 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 um, and authorities, because uh, they, the two of them have very uh, valid goals, you know? Uh, the government wants uh, uh, more quality, more uh, uh, coverage, more affordability of services, etc., and, 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 and the private companies the operators are worried because the return on capital employed has reduced by half in the last five years, going to the similar level as uh, electricity, for instance. So it's very valid if you put it in an open, honest dialogue, the two valid uh, goals in the table, and you partner together, uh, think a very, very good thing happen. I think that uh, uh, taxation is one of, that, uh, of those because uh, for instance, in some places still they think that telecommunication is a luxury, so it, it's treated like that tax-wise, and it shouldn't. In fact, I always say that what, uh, 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 when I go to a hotel, for instance, when I travel, uh, they don't charge me for the amount of uh, plugs for electricity or the amount of liters of water that I'm using when I shower, when some places, yes, but, uh, 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 but they charge me for the, for the internet access and uh, quite expensively uh, in a separate bill uh, by the time, by the, et cetera. So I, I think that it is, we, we still um, uh, have some work to, to communicate that it's an essential service. Uh, it is not only for entertainment, it has a lot of impacts. If, uh, uh, for instance, if someone is monitoring, my, if my doctor is monitoring my health through that, uh, through, through, through internet and I am traveling, I need, I need that, it's not a luxury. Uh, or studying or, or working. So, um, for instance, I see good examples. Uh, recently, in, uh, for instance, in Chile and now in Mexico, uh, the government were clear on what they wanted and they wanted more coverage and open up the network and, and series of obligations and limitations, but they were willing to give something back. And uh, then it's a, an honest trade off. Uh, and uh, end result is that the amount of taxes, or let me say the collection of, uh, of, 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 on the part of the government, was reduced in 90%. Because I want more from you, from your knowledge and your, uh, and your capital uh, uh, to be used more effectively, so I'm willing to give back part of that. And I think it's, a, it's a recognizing that they, uh, we need each other, public and private, and that great things can happen if we recognize that and have an honest dialogue. And finally, I'd like to ask you, what's the value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World to you? <laughs> well, you know, for me, first and foremost, is networking, meeting the people. Because uh, events like this that uh, happen once a year, etc., are great opportunities to, to meet people, look them in the eye, and start having a, an honest conversation. Because even though we're in the communication industry, we sometimes do not communicate as often as we should. So this, this, for me, the main value is meeting people, 
is uh, having an honest dialogue that is, uh, 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 you know, is uh, you can program meetings with many different people and stakeholders, uh, attending uh, um, interesting debates. I have the opportunity to participate in two panels, and it's for me it's the networking, the people. Guillermo Alcorn, thank you very much for being with us today. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.